now let's come right up to the present now with the Practical Politics Book of the Year. And the judges in this category, who are they? Distinguished people all. Baroness Grenda of Kingston-upon-Thames Tom Harris, MP David Henke Baroness Shepherd of Northwold, PCDL and Romilly Weeks Well done. I love that PCDL, as though that's some new politically correct nomination. I, I think it's supposed to be PC for Privy Council and DL for Deputy Lieutenant, but uh, um, I, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, let me tell you... Well, of course, I'm right. Um... <laughs> Come here, you live and learn. Then, of course, you die and forget it all. Uh, to present this award, would you please welcome... Oh, this is... You really have pulled out all the stops. Can we please give a warm seated ovation, please, for the Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burkow, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Well, parliamentary colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm bound to say that until Giles was so kind and generous, I had been intending to observe, thinking that it would provoke no controversy, that amongst all his other attributes, he is one of the most extraordinary specimens of humanity that you could ever encounter in several lifetimes, let alone in one. <laughs> but as he's been so kind, I won't. <laughs> Just as Anne Leslie said in respect of her category, so I say in respect of mine, I've not the slightest idea who has won the award, but I do feel very privileged to know five of the six authors, and they're all immensely distinguished people, so I'm sure there's going to be a hugely deserving winner. And the nominees are... Five Days in May by Andrew Adonis Published by Bite Back Publishing In It Together by Matthew Dancona Published by Viking Democracy Limited by Bobby Friedman Published by One World Publications Trading Secrets by Mark Hubbard Published by I.B. Taurus The Blunders of Our Governments by Anthony King and Ivor Crewe, published by One World Publications. The Contemporary House of Lords, by Meg Russell, published by Oxford University Press. And for the winner, well, I have to be impartial, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, but I am overcome with excitement that the winners are two people who taught me nearly 30 years ago at university and whom I continue to meet with and hugely to esteem, Tony King and Ivor Crewe for the blunders of our governments. Hello. to have to say this, and I say it only because it's true, that John Burkow was one of the best students I have ever taught anywhere at any time. And I have taught in a lot of places at a lot of, uh, of, of times. And I'm glad he didn't know beforehand that this uh, book had won. Can I say very quickly that the book is not only heavy, but I think it points funny, and I hope it's taken seriously. Uh, it's described as the practical political book of the year. I hope it's a practical governmental book of the year. And since I'm the spokesperson for both of us, can I say quickly that the first time Ivor Crewe and I wrote a book together, it was Crewe and King. On this occasion, it's King and Crewe, and that's only because we take turns. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
excellent. And uh, Mr. Speaker, every time I see him, looking more and more like Michael Douglas, which is marvellous. <laughs> and I got the hearts for Michael Douglas too. Oh, yeah. I'm a modern conservative. There's a touch of the Tommy two ways about me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as it should be. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the way it goes nowadays. I'm ready to go with the flow. Mm, yeah. Rest assured, the Conservative Party is no longer the party with its back against the wall. Now, 